have no idea what the truth is. That's why we're out here to give you the truth. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Breathe. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy love is the truth. Christ bless. Welcome to Patient Saints Radio. Radio, 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 radio. radio. Oh, oh, you know what radio, else we radio. have? Shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, I'm, I'm Captain Shemaya. Captain Amaziah. Officer Jerham. Officer Carmela. Oh, Sister Nyoma. Sister Iona from the house of Captain Barnes. No, no, no. Stop. No. Stop. <laughs> you just sister now. She keep throwing that in there, ain't it? I know. Barnabas is not here. I know that's why I said. Hey, salute that's to my, Captain Barnabas. See, that's man. Shout no, out. Really? Right. I see my shout out. Salute to Captain Barnabas. Hey, D, can I ask? Hey, he sent he sent a text this morning. D, can I ask you a favor? <laughs> can I ask? You? Yes. Heard, hey, last week I heard. Oh, what happened to you last week? Go ahead. I said something that then y'all didn't let me finish. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so it's is our you, fault. Is, is, is your chance to finish up? Yes, that was So it's our fault. It's my fault you ain't finished? The yes. world is listening. The world is listening, <laughs> sis. <laughs> so when I said what I said last week. What did you say? Right. So yeah, I, let's recap. Talk, uh, turn the mic to you. What I recapped, I, I turned to the camera like this and I said, nobody came with my butt. Right? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> What I want to say now is I don't condone fighting. <laughs> oh, here co- oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> This is the politically correct answer or response we're getting now. Last yeah. week we got the raw, uncut. We got last the week we got. Iona. I'm just last week we got. Yo, listen, no sister can't whoop my behind. No, you know what I'm saying? See, right. but Don didn't even let me. You know what I mean? Y'all didn't let me. See, she did one of these. So y'all didn't let me finish. See, oh, oh, I see, she she no, 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 no. She's doing it again. She said we wouldn't let her finish, but we didn't. Didn't have anything no, to do with what you said. Yeah, like, but if you if said, you would have finished, if I would have finished, then it would you that part would have been like ah, oh, you know, because what I was saying was what I was about to say was under you fighting words. But just to let y'all know, don't don't. So you do condone violence? I right. don't. That you just said you was about to say fighting words. Right. Yes. That means you was gonna be very upset with what I was gonna say. So what's the difference in you saying? No, you gonna, but I wanted to say that. You wanted to say that. You're gonna be mad. That they're gonna be mad with what I was about to say. Because look, I got a couple of phone calls, neither here nor there. And I know y'all get it all the time, but sisters are crazy. So you hear that? We've been telling y'all, y'all that for years. years. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't listen to us. Sisters though. are crazy. Uh, she said, we just sisters crazy, and y'all can't whoop us. So <laughs> no, I'm serious, right? So the thing is, this is I ain't saying nothing. Let you ain't saying nothing. I'm not watching okay. you. Okay. <laughs> so this is my thing that I want to say. Okay, so PSR, well, pretty much IUIC. You know what I'm saying? They go by the scriptures, right? Right. And if it comes off real raw, because sometimes they do come off real raw, because they do a shotgun blast. Most right. times you're doing a shotgun blast. You do the extreme and you do the shotgun blast. And if it don't pertain to you, right, you shouldn't be upset. You shouldn't go grab somebody else's mantle, right? So last week we was talking about what married women, I mean, um, single mothers, right? So I had folks calling me that did not fit the part, the the protocol. I'm like, since you got kids, no. So what you upset about? Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. So the, what we went over didn't really pertain to them. Yes. And they got offended. And they was offended. Mm. So I, my rant was, if it don't pertain to you, you should take that as information yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you're in the truth, right, eventually you're going to yes. come to a point where you're right. going to have to, you, somebody's going to come to you and say something and you're going to be able to have, oh, that was a, a class or that mm-hmm. was a scripture. Right. So X, Y, Z, don't take it and be offended. Right. Now, there are times, oh, so I'm a likened bishop. I got notes. 
Exactly. Oh, sure. Lordy. So it's about the whole class. No, not really. This, this real quick. <laughs> uh, hell Jeremy, so, I'm like, yeah. so I ain't going to say nothing. Bishop, Nathaniel, Deacon Yawasab, um, Deacon Malachi, and Ella Kanai, right? I'm going to liken them three, them four to, to doctors, right? And so if, the, if someone told you that you had cancer and you had two weeks to live, mm -hmm. right? And those are the four best doctors in the world, mm -hmm. right? Now, three of them got really great bedside manners, and one has no bedside manners. We know who they are. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd, that'd be, right. that'd be deep, 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 deep. right. So you call those three <laughs> doctors. Gonna die. <laughs> what? what you, don't be lying on you. What am I lying on you? No. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Dude, she said if you had to go to somebody's hospital room, you said, man, your ass got cancer, you're gonna die. Right. <laughs> hey, hey Dick said, I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, well, die. it was nice knowing you. <laughs> so I don't know what you're gonna do. That these are the three <laughs> best brain surgeons that you got brain cancer. And they it is they can they can take it out, and the the three that you call they say oh no I'm booked up to January, but Deacon is the only one that got that can put so, so you the, in. The, the red is about you. No, about you. why are you yeah. nervous? Why are yeah. you? I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> Yeah. Would, would you, you what, care you, that your doctor did not have bedside right, manners? Right. That's, no, that's you not, wouldn't. That's not, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you wanna, hey, you he didn't get become get a cured. doctor for bedside manners. Exactly. It's his he, the he, ability to know medicine, healing pro, pro, right. processes, and things like that. So, oh, when however, he bring out the scriptures. Okay, so I, now I see where you're going with so this. She okay. said you were a good doctor, D. Babylon, it, was, it, was like the, have, it was like the long way home. She didn't take the shortcut. She took the long way home. I took the woman route. You understand, y'all speak men. Right, and that's why. No, but brothers get offended too when we yes. talk. They do. You no, know, so. So the it thing is, what is, is if, okay. if I mean, you're not gonna care that he don't have best. I mean, you're gonna be like, get not when you're dying. Out. Yeah, exactly. You you can operate. You operate. got bigger. You got bigger problems to worry about. So, so these sisters need to realize they're dying. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, sister, you're about to die, sister. <laughs> so, so that's why we say system. you might want to just humble down and get a brother who's willing to take a sister that's about to die. You're about yeah. to die. <laughs> I'm about to die, sis. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Damn. So sick ass. I, <laughs> listen, sick ass a husband, sister. Listen, Come on. What the hell wrong with you? You I ain't got know. time to be picky, sister. Right. Go uh, get a husband. I want to say something. <laughs> what you just said, sis. One thing we're not going to do, do here is apologize. Nope. You got two choices. You either sit, you either sit there and listen or just turn it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. The power is in your the power is in your hand. It's in your fingers. Yeah, you got the remote. You got the remote. You got the phone in your hand. Yeah, you got the phone in your hand. You see that? Turn it, turn it off. Or we we not apologizing because we. That's what we do. We we listen. What whatever we were saying last week, we didn't make it up. Right. right no, right, it's right. true. Those. Is the truth? Yes. The thing you know what the thing with one one of the thing with us as a as a people, we hate truth. Yeah. We mm. hate reality. But deep. The thing is, too, though, our people, like, we played the video last week of the sister with the two kids yeah. and all that. They can take it, they can get a spoon fed to them nice and soft by a nice, effeminate man. We not those men. No. We not going to give it to mm. y'all nice and soft this week. We going to give it to y'all hard, just like as the Bible said to give it to you. We going to cry aloud and give it to you hard, man. That's it. That's it. Boom. So, shotgun, get mad or not, we ain't gonna apologize. It is what it is. Get mad and get right. Do yeah, that. That's it. That's it. it is what you can be mad all day. Just get right. I didn't even know that. Somebody said, uh, what's, what's what this brother's doing? I didn't even know that. Somebody said last week, uh, uh, mm. I, was, I was mad. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you pissed off a lot of people in Atlanta. Oh, oh yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, we had to wheel you back. You was causing chaos in, uh, uh, among the new sisters. But no, he, it was not. I think sometimes, this just me personally, I think when people get mad, they low-key identify. They know that it identifies with them. Because why would you be mad? The, the, you know what I'm there's, saying? there's a saying in the South, a hit dog will holler. Yeah. So, yep. again, like sis say, Cat let it roll up. Like sis say, let it roll That's up. That's a dude What you know about so, that? I think people look, be low-key mad because they know it's them. And they don't, you know, they hesitant to get it right. Now, it, we did not say because you got kids, blood that should not marry husband. you. Right. That's not what we said. Right. I think they, I think they misunderstood what we said. Yeah, but yes. we said that last week at in the show. This is not what we talking this about. This is not we're not talking about. Oh, bro, oh, yeah, sister, yeah, oh, you got sister, you got kids, you doomed. Nobody should marry you. We never said that. What's they get mad about? Never said that you was a, a whore or nothing right. because no. you had it. And, and and I know a lot. I know we were joking around about take whatever comes your way. 
But in the no, I wasn't joking. No, no, but no, in, 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 no, no. But here's the thing: in, the rea- in reality, we don't we don't match or agree upon a brother and sister proven that don't match. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You see what I'm saying? No, and I don't. In, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> let's say, for instance, a brother. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's say the age difference. Let's say oh, there's a huge okay. no, age difference. There's saying. a huge age difference. <laughs> or she's With, overweight and right, you don't want nothing like that. Right. Or, or, or the brother's mad fit, you know, she's overweight, right. whatever the case may be. We're gonna say, listen, the sisters, she's like, I'm not willing to work out. I'm not willing to lose. I'm I'm good. Th- that might that might be an issue for the brother. Right. You see what I'm saying? So right. we can't say, um, um, uh, sister, take whatever comes your way because it it doesn't fit. That's not it, even how it, it goes. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't, but, it wouldn't but, fit. But Cap, we Right now, we're not in position. Well, brothers and sisters, we're not in position to say, you know. But you know, when you're reading the scriptures, our history, uh, the way our forefathers, the way there was a time we used to be righteous. We used to know the law. We used to follow the law. It was, I pick your daughter for my son, or you pick my son for your daughter. Or the fathers making a the, yeah, the fathers, the fathers get together. The we, as a matter of fact, your daughter don't even know you pick up my son for her. It's me and you who talk, and I say to you, okay. And then when he come to the wedding feast, me and you sit, we we discuss. Hey, this is how we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna do. Like because because remember there was a law that night. If if my son go and your daughter is not a virgin, mm-hmm. your daughter have to die. Because of the because they would have with the law. But now we don't have that power to say, sis, you go and marry him. I don't care if you like him or not. Take him. Right. Uh, brother, we don't care. We don't have that power to do that. As a matter of fact, I gonna lie, uh, I was talking to Dick and Malakaya. He said something interesting. He said, listen, from now on, I'm not even gonna when a brother mm-hmm. or sister do something behind closed doors, mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna tell them they have to get married. We're just gonna put them out. That's Your it. guys gotta go. If it was for two years, three years, we're not gonna even tell you how long you gotta go. We just gotta go because this is what happened. When they do something, they do something, they go sleep together, and then you say they have to get married. These, these, these marriage never succeeded. Work out. Yeah. They never woke out. Because in reality, both of them was lusted, they were burning, they just wanna sleep together, but they didn't really want to get married. It was lust. Right. Once they're not gone, because they're not the devil. The seed. <laughs> <laughs> the nuts. Is the the nuts is, he said the nuts. Poor is the squirrel. Poor squirrel. <laughs> you laughing? You laughing? Poor poor squirrel. I get it. Just about, listen, listen. You are up there. As soon they're not gone, the, uh, the devil said, "I'm out. You hey. on your own, buddy." He came. Yeah, I'm out. Like, he was like, "I'm funny." It's not funny, funny, but it's funny, the truth. But that's what happened with uh, Tamar yeah. and Abner. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. So, so he got that nut. Yeah. The like, devil. The devil left them. He goes, the devil say, hey, you and you and buddy, bye. The devil came out with the nut. He was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And, it's and, it's and, not and, only brothers, sisters too. And, and because you mentioned Amnon, he was the brother who hated the yeah, sisters. The sister. after, said, he had said, sex. Amnon, after sex. Amnon. But, be, but because sisters have a manly spirit, they roll like Amnon sometimes yes. too. Yes. That's my mm-hmm. point. So like, once bro. they get this, they yeah. hate the man. Yeah. Yeah. Same way. The sister go, well, I don't want to marry him. Mm-hmm. Oh, some sisters even go as far as I say, oh, he raped me. So, Just yes. because he don't, she don't want to marry yes. the brother. Yes. I'm he telling you, that, yes. believe it or not, that happened in IUIC. Yes. The sister, and then later on, the sister said, oh, I lie. I, just, I, I say that because I didn't want him to marry, I didn't want to marry him. I'm not, I'm not Damn. That's what and, I'm saying. So I thought it happened. It, so it, guess what? From now on, we just want to just, both you of gotta you got go. to go. See? That's and, it. And, and you know what, too? And same thing, I spoke with Deacon Malachi about it. And... If a brother or sister, and excuse me, brother and sister lay together, if there's any ounce of godliness, there would be first a confession. It wouldn't be us finding out. I was just thinking about that. There would be a confession, and there would be papers already in, in process. Uh. Me and the sister, you know, we laid together. We went down to the courthouse yesterday and got the papers because I want to marry the sister. That actually can be honored. Yes. Because both of you are showing that the scriptures come first. Yes, you, you couldn't resist the sister. She couldn't resist you. Y'all laid together, but you know what the Bible says. Right. You did the Shirley and yeah, Down yeah, part. Yeah. Yeah. You, on you, your you, own. You're like, listen, we got the papers. It's going to be back in the mail in two more days. We'll be official. 
we good to go. Mm. All right, we can deal with that. But brothers and sisters lay together secretly, are banging for months at a time. Or flying each other out. Fly- <laughs> yeah, y'all think it's a game. Got flewed out. Flew, oh my God. Sister got flewed out. What, 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 what happened? She got flewed out. I didn't, I didn't make that one up, but I heard it. it was- Cap, let me tell you something, man. We just had a situation where the sister, blood and the sister proving. They keep going back and forth. One day they want to prove, one day they want to prove. One day they want to prove, one day they want to prove. Eventually, the, the, I think it's like the captain said, hey, listen, you guys leave it alone. Stay away from each other. Something happened where we put, oh, the brother ended up, remember, they've been going in and out, in and out, in and out for two years. The sister said, I don't want to marry him right now. I'm still, I got it. I'm in school, blah, 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 blah. But the blood wanted to marry her, but she... So they've been going back and forth. Eventually, the captain said, listen, your guys not ready to get married. Leave me alone. So they stop. They stop courting. So a couple of months ago, the brother go and sleep with a woman in the world. So, okay, we put him out. The sister found out. Now the sister confess. Him and the brother been sleeping together for two years. Wow. wow. Yep. It's so From different camps, though. When, yes. So when you see situation, and guess what? There's a lot of this situation. Situation like that, I'm not gonna say you have to get both of your got to go. Yep. Yeah. Bye bye. Because the only reason she confessed Cause she mad, mad. Mad. is because she's she mad. mad. Right. Yeah. He's sleeping with another woman. In her mind, she's thinking, yeah, they put him on, but when he come back, he uh, he might come back with another woman. He might marry her. Another... She, you actually, let me tell you something. Now, now I heard they agreed to get married. Me personally, wow. that's, too that's a bad. disaster waiting to happen. It is. First of all, there's a reason your guys were sleeping together, your guys was in, in secret. In reality, your guys didn't want to get married. Your guys, especially the sister, mm-hmm. the, she didn't want to get married. She just want to bang out. Mm-hmm. Bang out. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. I get it. Those are the things that when we bang, we talk about your guys got mad, your guys got emotional, your guys got offended. Oh, why they can say that? Because it's reality. Right. Your guys don't want to face reality. We as leaders, we're going to bring reality to you, war and uncut. That's right. Whether you accept it or not, that's on you. It, it, and it's crazy how, like, like what you just mentioned, the sister came <coughs> forward because she's mad. There's, I don't know if y'all read the, the, the history in Acts 5 with Ananias and his wife, that they both lied to the apostles. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sisters will consent to the lie until they're mad. Yeah, yeah until they're mad. Right. You, you, you actually uphold the evil. Yeah. Opposed to, listen, this is what we should do. So what it, what it is, before y'all lay together, the sister will know all the standards of God. The brother will know all the standards of God. Once what well, you said, the, the, the nuts is Devil what? nuts. Yeah, the devil nut nuts. Come out. What's the nuts come out? <laughs> the nut come out? The devil nuts. <laughs> the devil nuts come out. <laughs> the, de- the devil leaf was nut come out. <laughs> like hot, like hot you know Cheetos. What? Cancel whatever I was going to say. The devil nuts got me. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. So I got a question. I got a question. So if, going back to what Deke say, he said, because we're, we're, today the leaders don't have the power to do what our we asset. Don't. Okay, so. The only thing we can do is throw them out. So the, let's say parents typically do this. They have kids born in the truth mm-hmm. and they like to promise their son to another man's daughter, although they're not of age at the time. Mm-hmm. Is that possible they can do that? Yeah, we can do that. Because we got, yes. we got, right now we got brothers who got young, young daughters who right. born in the truth. If they, these brothers want to do the right thing, mm-hmm. they can, they can we, are, we can do that. But guess what? That's what we're fighting to get back into. Right, okay. right. We try to get back our nationality, our custom, because that was our custom. Right. So up with to Mosai, now you got the men of Mosai start teaching the word. Mm. So our goal is to get back to that custom. That's funny. Is that possible? Absolutely. Because right. we got brothers, we got we got righteous brothers in the truth. We got righteous sisters in the truth. Right. Right. I don't anybody say yes. Some of us bug out of our mind. Yes. But we actually got righteous brothers and righteous sisters. We pray, hopefully one day, we can set up a marriage where if, if it's my daughter and I say, I want you to marry this, uh, I pick up her husband, she's not going to open her big mouth. Why I got to marry him? Pow! I don't like him. <laughs> Look at his teeth. Him? <laughs> he don't got a real beard. Because Levi, Levi tell you to do something like, 
<laughs> but it must it must that mouth quick. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my lord was talking about that last night, matter of fact. We mm-hmm. was we was discussing our sons and we was discussing different sisters. Sisters. Okay. So that's funny that that even came up. Yeah. Like seriously, my, yeah. my lord brought the subject up, and he was like, I'm "You got an older son. Your son is what? Mm-hmm. Uh, one he's is nineteen or 20? 20. The older one. 20, Twenty, and then the other one is sixteen. Sixteen. So we was discussing both, mm-hmm. um, and so he was like, "I'm serious." I was like, "Okay, well, what about this person?" And he was like, "Nah, I think this person." I was like, "Nah, I don't think that's gonna fit because X, Y, Z, you know." Mm-hmm. So we was actually having that conversation mm-hmm. last night, mm-hmm. and okay. so um, I was like, "Were well, you gonna go to the father?" He was like, "I was like, but they don't, they don't need to know like right. at all whatsoever." Yeah. So that's true, you know. That's, 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 that's beautiful. <laughs> so. Like, I mean, for us to be able to go back. Go yeah, back but that, that was a discussion last night, literally last night that we had. Uh, I, I had a discussion up. with a father. Oh, wow. All praises. All that's praises. scary as a do- Look, yeah. that's scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, but um, but, it, but it's, it's something that, not saying that there was any plans put in no. place, but the discussion was had. And it puts both fathers in the mindset of this can potentially happen. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. How do I start rearing my son or rearing my daughter For this according, according to this conversation we're having yeah. here? I was just thinking about that. And then, but you get to spend time, like again, on our high holy days and the times that we spend together. So you, we're seeing the kids and you're spending time with them and you're learning that child, the good, the bad, and the indifferent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can cultivate things you like and don't like. So that's a beautiful thing. I, hey, um, beautiful I think thing. all them kids is crazy. Hey, I, I want to I read a script real quick. How old is your daughter? Your daughter's like 14. Don't right? worry about all that. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't ready for a marriage. No more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey, you know I ain't got a focus. Because I don't even know he's gonna be like, no, 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 no. I got time. I got time. I got time. Hey, but I'm looking in the chat. I'm looking in the chat, and sisters are saying, uh, 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 Matt, arranged marriages. I can't do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. Oh, that's because they done bang out already. Think about something. And they ain't got no fathers. Probably the ones that's saying that. Give me wisdom, Solomon nine and nine and six. I think we read this last week. Wisdom Psalm 9 and 16. The book of Wisdom and of Psalm. And if we was to go back to some to arranged marriages, what would that do for the STD rate in the black community? Hey. What would it do for adultery in the black community? Right, what would it right. do for you single mamas in the black community? Cat. Deacon made a comment either last week or the week before. There's a lot of brothers and sisters who follow us but they don't trust us. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that. I said that last yeah. week. But, hey, can I add something before you read that? Yeah, that's where the ball's down. That's true. You say something that's... Think of something in my head. You know what's so crazy? That statement you just read mm. about sisters say that arrangement I cannot... Mm. Let me tell you what's so crazy about that, Cap. This is a sister... She got... Go ahead, D. Bring she it been, out. She been through 10 men. Mm. Bring it out. She ten. May, almost, ten. she make One ten. More. I'm gonna choose. I'm just gonna pick ten. That's it. Dude. She make ten bad decisions in her life. Jesus. Some, some abortions in there too. Some abortion in there, and then she might have two badass kids. But let me get. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Jesus. Hey, your brothers and sisters that's online. Please let me know if I'm crazy. But if Only you that. trust, if you was good at picking, why are you single? Mm-hmm. With a couple kids. With Not a couple married. Kids. Right. <laughs> so now you mad at me for saying. I would like you to talk to this brother. But you say, nah, I'm not gonna settle for arranged marriage. But you make 10 bad choices, you end up with two badass little kids. And now, don't and, you now think, and now you're in the bin. Now you're in the bin. <laughs> and you mad Don't at you us. think maybe, maybe you you maybe you bad at making choices? Mm-hmm. What and what do you have to lose? What you got to you because right. we're talking about we're talking lost. about parents talking about mm-hmm. their children. Mm-hmm that them two can grow up together like literally and don't have no clue the father and the mother the father the parents can make sure that this person is telling me for you and this person is telling me I, that's that's wonderful you know that it's, hey. it's wonderful to those who have their mind right right but, right. but deacon that's why when bishop says that's why it always rings in my head when bishop says so many of the death toll is going to be the black woman in america bring it in because mm-hmm. Remember last if night? You, yeah, if you listen to what the Bible, like, you're not listening to the Bible, you won't listen to the prophets. That's why you're going to burn. 
That's the bottom line of it. Like, again, you have the recipe of what's going to get you what you need, but you still don't want it. You don't want it, exactly. You have the nerve to fix your mouth to say what you're not going to do. That's the problem. Hey. You 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 think Jerohim has an arrangement. Yeah, I I was going to say that. That's why I asked the question, because my scenario, all praises, the bishop, my spiritual father, had talked to my wife's father, Officer Obadiah Rochester, without unbeknownst to me and my wife. So... I just I just happened to be in New York and I got a call from Bishop. He said, "Yeah, I got a, I got a sister for you." I said, "Oh, praise it's good." Well, um, how she look? That's the first now, question. Now, 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 <laughs> and, and, how, how is that arranged marriage working out for you? Working out perfectly. Yeah. All praises, go. all praise to the most. So did you? Did you, you so when you tell Bishop how she looks, Bishop be like, "Don't worry about that." Yeah, I, he, he said, "Don't worry about that." But Deacon Lava on a slide sent me the picture. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those, those hey. Levites, man, they always stick together. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's the psalm in nine? So, but but uh, we can use um, the officer as an example. Yeah. You did not go on your own and do your own thing. Yeah. No, I didn't right? do that. Bishop told now, me, this is what I got, but, and he also, he said, before you speak to her, go to the father. father. Right. Mm-hmm. Wisdom saying. of Solomon 9 and 16. The book wow. of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter That's 9. I did, I did not know that. That's yeah, good. I didn't know that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 16. And hardly do we guess... And hardly do we guess all right at things that are upon earth. See that? You don't know how to choose a mate. <laughs> That's why we have to have counsel and decide for you. Because guess what? You're, you're doing things on your own made you a baby mama. you doing things on your own made you a baby dad. Got you broccoli on your... Yeah, you yeah, got your STD. Now you're in adultery. Now you're in fornication. Did you just say you got your buckley? Yeah, you got a broccoli stem stem growing out your balls. <laughs> so your balls now. Why? Because you want to do things according to your lust. That's yeah. how that's how we operate, man. That's why we got to stay in the in the uh, um the confines of this Bible, man. It says God said, "Listen, God knows our spirit better than we know ourselves." Right. right. Hey, read it again. Read it again. And yeah. hardly do we guess all right at things that are upon earth. So that could clean up fornication. That could clean up adultery. Deaths. Death. I just seen a video yesterday. The brother on the sisterhood busting the window. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to Because she want to not want to deal with him no more. Mm-hmm. You out here sleeping. You might get you one of these. What is it? The Hebrew strangler. Hey, uh, you might get your Hebrew strangler. Hey, isn't that precept for that verse is the. Hey. That's precept that the the precept where Bishop uh, Mosai, I said Bishop, when Mosai said, let the older woman teach the younger Titus woman. Titus too. Titus. Yeah, you go there. Uh, uh, you finish this verse? Yeah, you can. Okay. I was going hey, to ask him jump. I was going to him jump up a little bit. No, go ahead. Go, hey, no, 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 no. Go back. Jump up what Captain said, Start and then connect, connect them from. Start of verse fourteen. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine, verse fourteen. For for the thoughts of mortal men are a are. Miserable. 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 Mm-hmm. And our devices are but uncertain. Because the mind, it tells us in Jeremiah 17, the mind is desperately wicked. Yeah. That's our thought process. We're always thinking about death. We're always thinking about the worst of the worst. We're always thinking about how wicked, not necessarily how wicked we are, mm-hmm. but how wicked we want to be. Go oh. ahead. For for the corruptible body presses down the soul. That's see, that's that's Galatians 5. Your flesh. Right. War. Press it down or wars against your spirit. Right. That's your lust. That's your lust. That's what's going on. So then when you jump to verse 16, it says, and hardly do we guess a right. Why? Because your flesh is what's winning your war. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You, you're, with you're, flesh. you're choosing men according to your lust. Yes. Not yes. according to godly standards, not according to your needs. Mm-hmm. That's why you don't make the right choices. You're not going to guess right because it's the wrong you that's making your choices. It's the flesh making the choices, not your spiritual side. Mm-hmm. Let me. Oh, you know what? It is something I forgot to mention yesterday. Captain Zakar, you did send me the text to remind me when we discussed it on Friday. A lot of sisters, and I know we got a call, a lot of sisters uh, one year, two year in are, think they're ready to be married mm-hmm. in the sense that they feel they have the qualities to offer to a Lord. But to be a princess of the Most High, to be a daughter of Sarah, takes careful grooming to become that. And oftentimes, sisters don't spend enough time in that grooming process to be a princess, to be a daughter of Sarah, 
to then be presented. We went over last night. Remember, God presented Eve to Adam. You should be in the status of a gift to a man mm. that God is going to present you to the man, right. meaning you're worthy to be a gift unto a man. Hmm. Sisters are not willing to work towards being that. And a lot of times we can tell by the comments you make. Mm -hmm. The comments you make actually show us you are not ready for marriage mm. because no one has taught you how to be a woman of God. Yep. Uh, let me not say that. You're being taught to how to be a woman of God. But you're not, you're not accepting not, it. You're, you're not right. accepting yeah. or yeah. applying how to be a woman of God. We saw it last night. Yes. And yes. Captain Shemaya, it's those spirits that'll say, especially when they don't want to do something, like you say, if you fall into error, you and the brother do something, immediately you make it right, you do what needs to be done. But so many times, that's the type of spirit that'd be like, well, leadership told me to do it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Bible yeah. is telling yeah, you to do yeah, it, yeah, yeah. not yeah. leadership. So you still don't want to take accountability for whatever it is you've done that is out of order according right. to the Bible. So those are those type of spirits. And you know what? I like something you just said. Take accountability. Mm -mm -mm. But you know what? Hard. But hard. in the world, but you know what? Hard. 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 Well, I went back to my son's dad, and one, I had to apologize for things that I knew that I did in the relationship that were wicked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Again, not trying to be with, be, be with him or anything, but just apologize. Listen, I recognize now through the learning through the Bible, I did A, B, and C, and I apologize. And the first thing out of his mouth, he was like, who is this again? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you know, the whole time I was dealing with you, I never heard you say you sorry. Damn. I mm. never heard you say you apologize. Damn. Accountability. Accountability. Damn. And yeah. for him to say that was like, wow. Because yeah. again, I had learned it under you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I told him about the truth. And this was like three and a half years ago. I told him about the truth. Mm. And I just shared some stuff. Now come back down to the pandemic. Now he's saying Christ is black. Mm. Now he's sharing different things. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now he's All looking praise. at videos here and there. But again, it literally took me saying, I'm sorry. Yeah. And you know what? I yeah. recognize that I did some stuff and I was wicked and I shouldn't have did it and I apologize. But yeah. You know what? I like where that's going. We're going to take the call real quick, but mm. I, actually, we should expound on that. Hey, let's take the call. I want to I wanna read that. I want to connect the scripture with that. What oh, you yes, just yes, said. Sir. Right? Yes, sir. Because you said something about, you make some excellent point about they're not. Uh, yeah, he said oh, a lot of good. You points. don't take they don't take the the initiative to get yeah. ready right, for that. Right, right. That's what that scripture is talking about. With that scripture. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, read. Wisdom of Solomon's chapter. No, nine, no, 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 no. Titus, Titus, two, Titus, Titus, Titus two. two. Yes. Yes. Because you know a couple of a couple of years ago, we had a show where we invite Sister Leah, where we said, Hey, sister should prepare themselves. Yes, yes. Like yes. Esther, like a yes, former yes. Esther. Yes. They should um bidding for her. six <laughs> months. Six months. But there's a lot more than that. That's what Musa got is saying here. Titus chapter 2 and verse 2. Before, verse before three, the verse sister three. can get married, they should read that. Read that. Right, the right. age woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Because, yeah, go ahead. Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Not given to much wine. Mm -hmm. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Read. That they may teach the young woman to be sober. Mm -hmm. To love their husbands, to love their children. Now, let me tell you something. The only sister cannot teach you this if you are really in a marriage, if you are really sleeping together. Mm -hmm. You have to learn this before you become yes. a wife. Yes. Mm. This is this is actually something that let's okay. For example, for example, Mother Shumara, right? If you are a young sister, just like bishops tell you. When Bishop set up your marriage, right. he said to you, do not go to talk to the sister, talk we'll to talk the father. To, right, right. Guess what? While you're talking to the father, mm -hmm. the sister is preparing herself by talking to the uh, people like Mother Shemal. Right. Mm -hmm. And sis, how do I do this? How do I cook this? Uh, how do I become a mother? What is that? That's preparing herself because you prepare yourself right. the same way the sister got to prepare herself. That's almost like I got to say here. Before I even met her, yeah. she had conversations with her, uh, el her elders 
And so did I. So this was like, you're talking about days before we even met, before we even knew each other. That's what I'm saying. She didn't know what me, race? I didn't know her. So you should go, you ask sister, you, you should ask sister, sister, mother, Shamara, uh, how do I don't burn water no more? Not, because right now all you do is burn water. Oh, burn water. <laughs> <laughs> when you this boil the water. Burn, she burned she burn the damn eggs. Yeah. Eggs? She burned boiled eggs, bro. Damn. Damn. <laughs> burn boiled eggs. Damn. 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 Hey, how, my, how do you do ask that? The, ask the mother, hey, can you teach me how I don't, I don't burn boiled eggs? That's a mystery right there. Sister, put the <laughs> eggs in there. Make sure you don't want to water. said the I'm mystery of boiling, bar, not burning but, but, eggs but and giving you guys, you guys, You guys catch my point. Yes, yes, sir. You... When we look at our former mother Esther, she wasn't, she was, the way she was preparing herself for the king, she even, they even have to teach her how to talk, how to, how to be even public. Mm -hmm. When you, when you around, when you around the other kings, how to talk. Because right. remember, when the king called Esther, uh, uh, Vashti, 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 Vashti she, yeah. she, she, she came with the attitude. She came with the attitude because guess what? Her father never taught her nothing. Her mother never right, taught her nothing. Right, right. But now Esther come in. They have to teach Esther, hey, listen, when you're in the king present, this is how you got to behave. Right. This is what you got to do. Don't do this. Don't do that. Guess what? Esther represent the sisters. Right. Mm -hmm. The king actually represent us. Yep. Because so we, we, we are the damn king. So, the, so the sisters could either be <laughs> so, Esther yeah. or Vashti. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Pick damn. one, sis. Which is yes. a heathen. That's yes. a heathen, right. actually. Exactly. So that's the point. So I, I, actually, Vashti, now that you say that, deep about the shame, how did the Most High tell us to deal with that, or, or tell Moses to deal with that with yeah, yeah, yeah. with Miriam? Miriam right? mm -hmm. yeah. Most High said, "He's a father in her face. face. If a father but, has but, spit in her face, has spit in her face, she'd know better. She'd have known better. Known better. Exactly. Right, right. Some of y'all need some face spit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what we doing? What we do? Oh, call. Hey, let's get the phone call. Hey, Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Shalom, Mosai Christ, bless your leadership. This is Officer Solomon in New Orleans. Hey, Shalom, 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 shalom Officer Mosai Christ, bless. Mosai Christ, bless. Um, Y'all have moved on, but I was calling in reference to the topic of the arranged marriages. You know what I'm saying? My son, he's 19 months old, but I've already been thinking about, you know what I'm saying, having something. Getting his ass out the house and marry. You want his ass out the house already, bro? He ain't even, you got, what, what 18 more years? Uh, he said, the scripture said 20, hey, 20 right. months. <laughs> the brother said he arranged, he arranged for some, you arranged for some, for some toddlers? <laughs> hey, that's, that baby's still a dick. He ain't even got a three-year-old diaper on yet. The hell? <laughs> Hey, you just learned how to potty train. You know what I mean? You're doing good, though. Hey, oh, man. Okay, all praises, brother. All praise. All praise. So, so um, what you're saying is, what, what exactly are you saying telling us that? What to I'm say saying what? It's that um, the fact that us getting back to our heritage, you know, about with arranged marriages and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? So that way we can start rehearsing, the, you know what I'm saying? Begin to continue to rehearse the righteous act in which our forefathers and foremothers did during that time. You know, those are the things that we have to get back to. Yeah, me, me personally, I like to deal with results. So, right. what would be the results if we did go back? Could, um, in contrary to what is what we are doing now, meaning acting on our own, how is that working out for us? It's the, not like, working like, out for exactly, us. Exactly. Right. The, the HIV so, rate is up. The STD rate is up. Everything is up. In the black, everything right. negative is up in the black community. Adultery is up, all of that. Fornication is up. Exactly. Baby moms and baby daddies are going to continue until we get back to God's laws. You know what? We, we, we had, Thank you, brother, for calling. Thank you. We had, uh, we, we've dealt with, I'm going to give us a, a scenario. Well, top, true topic, but we dealt with a, a brother and sister who chose each other out of their lust. And what that bread was, mm. hatred and contention to the point where the sister called him a bee of a man. Yeah. Yeah. You are a bee of a man. Oops. Mm. He's, He's supposed to be God, damn. but he a bee. That's you a, a bee. disrespect. You, 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 see, you, see what it, you see what it breeds. So the arranged marriages, like Cap said, the result is there would be um, the one flesh would be cohesive. It wouldn't be 
uh, 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 one flesh over here, one flesh over here under the same roof, it's actually going to be one flesh because you both were being groomed with the same mind. Right. All right. right. The parents were grooming you. The parents right. were, uh, the, the, your spiritual fathers were talking to you and grooming you for this moment. Now, let me say this. I've said it before. Sisters come into the truth and they learn how to be wives, right? When you begin to prove a brother or be groomed by the leaders for a brother, you're learning how to become his wife. Right. That's what. They, yes. That's the point they missed. Yeah, that's, that's the point they missed. Yeah. 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 Put emphasis yeah. on that. Because she started to cut you off. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. She got to be mold to be the man, the mind of the man. Yeah. Right. And the problem is the sisters is coming in, bringing what they mind is, trying to match it up with the mind of the man, and that's right. why it's friction. Mm -hmm. That's I'm, why it's friction. I'm glad so, that. So you trying to? They trying to match a man to their mind. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. glad that. Yeah. Was if safe. not, they just trying to, or, or they trying to bring their opinion and their ideas to us, to us, to this man's meaning kingdom. The Lord blessed them with. Exactly. That's why I made the statement last week that you. No one can. You can tell them the the blueprint of marriage, but you cannot give them the details right, of marriage. Right, right. Because what I'm, this is a real quick story. One time I was at somebody's house and I was looking. I was like, Oh yeah, I like the way she do that. Well, Lord, this man, other whatever. I call myself doing that with my Lord. It offended he ain't him. Like that. Hell no. He was like, I ain't no damn Benji don't kid. Like don't do that, right? right? Yeah. So every, I, every every Benji's mad at everything. <laughs> That's how we roll. <laughs> but the thing is, that went for her Lord like that. Yes, right. You know He's specific for him. Specifically, right. and so in that, I learned that my Lord has preferences, right? Mm -hmm. And so most two things: most people, men, young brothers don't know what their preference is. Yes. And then yes, the most true. sisters don't even take the time to spark his understanding right. to say, babe, uh, my Lord, what is your preferences? How do you want me to run Dang. your house? Right. You Whatever know. you like. <laughs> she just, like, she just start doing like. what she want to do. Right. And, yeah. yeah, or or every every when a doctrine that come out, like somebody might be teaching and they teaching their preference and they go change that in their house. Mm -hmm. And then something else will come out and then they go change that in their house. You know what I house. think it is? You, they yeah. don't have a preference. I think sisters are too embarrassed to act like they don't know something. Right. Yeah. Then to yeah, just right. say, you know what, Lord? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me how you like to do, how you like the food to be yeah. warmed, right. where you want to be. There's nothing wrong with that because that's how you're going to grow together. But right. what the problem is, sisters don't want to be like they... Um, what's the word? They, they don't want to be a student. To, yeah, they want to be ignorant to they be prideful. basic right. things in the house. That's they be ignorant. prideful. But all you got to do is humble down, but, listen to what the Lord is saying, but and it's easy. Yeah. America, America messed up a lot. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Society, oh God, listen. J just like that brother last week when their sister called, the sister in her mind, her mind is, my two kids doesn't mean anything. I got a pretty face. Right. I got a, I got a yeah. big behind. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. That's all I'm going to bring to the relationship. That's all I need. The men should, the men should put their, on their knees begging me right. to marry them. Hmm. But that's because she's used to simps. Yes. Right. She's used to that That's simps. the thing. That, this is the thing. When you come in Israel, that's, that is why, that is why I got to say this. That is why Musa God told Moses, take your shoes off. Right. Yeah. Real. That is why we, we try to tell your sisters, do not bring that spirit in Israel. Do not bring that spirit in Israel. That spirit you got in the world, men, men always uh, kid, kid kissing to your, you. Kissing you behind. Kissing you behind. You, you can, Telling you what a God you yes, are. Yes, and you, call, you can call, you can curse them whenever yeah. you want to. Listen, in Israel, we're not going to put up with that. We're not going to put up with you because we've been through it. Now we come here, you're not gonna come to our house, call us, call us B A S N N N N No B of a man. B of a man. You're not gonna. You we're we not gonna take that from you. Yeah. We're not. We're gonna ask you to pack your crap and leave. Deacon, Deacon, the the sister left the house for six months. Her Lord did not know where she was for a whole month. Changed her number. Didn't even give him the number. No contact. That's the kind of things we're dealing with with, with, with some sisters, man. Mm. That's the evil that's going on. But, but some she, and that's, she called herself a that's, daughter of self. That's Babylon in the brain. Yes. That's Babylon right that's there. Babylon, Babylon now exhausts the black woman over the black man. 
Sit. You look all over society, look on the TV, you turn on the TV, you open your phone, you see the sister exalted over the yes. man. Our image is trash in America. Yes. Cal, so, go ahead. I want to add something to what you said. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Cal. I don't want to forget. A couple of weeks ago, I make a comment. I said the most dangerous mm -hmm. sisters in our community mm -hmm. is an educated black woman with a little money. And mm -hmm. kind of ugly. A lot of people got mad. Let me tell your sister something. I saw that last night. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. I'm, I'm telling you all. Yeah. It's a spirit that's in America. Mm. The most yeah. dangerous sisters in our community is the one with the... They call them... They call them... Uh, I'm educated. I got a master's independent, degree. Independent player, I'm independent. Yeah. I got a bachelor's degree. But these sisters come. They marry these brothers. These brothers might not even have a high school diploma. First of all, sister... Or, or before you the man. Yes. Before you lay with this man, you know damn well he only had a high school diploma. So they aren't equally yoked is what you're saying. Yes. You know damn well this man wasn't educated. But guess what? He's a hustler. He's still taking care of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still working. But because you got that little degree for me, so you totally disrespectful to him. Right, you think that you look at him like he beneath you. But, but like, I so got an I'm education. So she's not being repentant I'm in her head. I'm sorry. Now, if you think about this, the way America is set up, mm -hmm. you look around, sisters get, they got all the education, they got the better jobs, they will get hired before a masculine yes, black man. it is true. No. If, if you're a masculine black man, you, you're a yeah, target here. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah. you come in Israel, you may not have as, as good of a job, the majority don't have, of us don't have good jobs as black women in, in America. So now, what does that do to the sisters? That's putting a spirit on the sister. Right. So she makes more money that now she can run the brother, tell him what to do, disrespect him, and so forth. Y'all got to see the game that's being played on both sides. Yeah, that's what... This is, all, this is Esau's dealing right here. Yeah. If Esau's in, in control of, of this society here, and he's primarily giving the job to the sisters, what, is it, what spirit is that putting on, our, on you sisters? You got to look at that thing. That's like Dick and Yahweh have said. Esau got a headquarter in some of your sister's brains. Mm -hmm. can, can, tell him. He got locked some, down. Can, yep. can, can somebody read Proverbs 14 and 12, please? I think we got a phone call, too. We have a phone did, call? Did this sister just call a scripture? I did. <laughs> and, and, please. And, and, First she ran. And, and just to add to the point uh, Jeroham made about the sister should say to her Lord that she doesn't know how to do something. And this is why 1 Peter 3 tells us to have pity on one another. Because you're going to come into a marriage not knowing things. Right, yeah, right, you, right. You, you have, let's say, for instance, a sister who, you know, you've never been attached to a brother in the truth before. So, like you mentioned, I think, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Israelite marriage is different than any in relationship world, you've right. had in the world. Right, right. So, this is why God says you should have pity on one another. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're doing something you actually have never done before. And if you've done it before... This man is catered to specifically uh, as being a totally different man. Let's say your first husband died. Mm -hmm. What he wanted is different than what yeah, this right. man wanted. <laughs> right. So right. that marriage is all new again, even though it's in the same Israelite, you know, in the same faith. So that uh, sister who has to humble down and say, listen, I don't know, mm -hmm. is the same mm -hmm. way the brother has to appreciate her saying that because... Uh, it's a sense of having pity and compassion on one another right, because you other, both yeah. don't know what the hell you're doing. Right. Neither one of you know. So, Cap, mm -hmm. even though I know in, in Deuteronomy, it tell her, uh, if you, it was speaking of war, but it said that man had to take that time to comfort his wife. Like, when you first come into these new marriages, that same approach is like, you have to take that time with that sister to start teaching her, this is what I do, this is how I move, this is yeah. how, you know, this is... How I like my stuff. Right. Going. That's, <laughs> that's heavy you say that because when I when my wife, when we got married, when she moved down to Florida, I personally told her, no, no officers in the school. Because all her, the long she'd been in this truth two years before I married her, she did all the offices back in Rochester. I said, you know what? I'm going to take you out of office because I want you to focus on what's going on in the house. Mm. Because it's not that I don't want you to do any offices. I just want you to focus on to learn who I am. Mm -hmm. So that's why I implemented that because... I know if you're doing school office and coming back home, it's going to be overwhelming from you because in her mind, she's thinking she knows me, but that's what sisters typically come in. So it goes back to what you're saying, Cap. It takes time to know someone. Yeah. It takes time mm -hmm. to go on being one mind with me. And with right. that, I took away some offices so she can focus 
solely on that for a small period of time. And then when I see progress, then I say, okay, sister, you can go ahead and put your bricks in. Mm-hmm. And that's what I do. It's going back to what um, you said. Gonna say Damn, you're smarter than you look. <laughs> <laughs> he's hey, cool, hey, he's hey, good. Hey, he's I, ain't been, I ain't been around a bishop. I ain't been around a bishop for no reason. I'm a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's take the phone call. You, you want? You was gonna say something? No, did you shut me down? I'm good. All right, sis. She goes around about it. Phone I didn't say nothing. Yes, you did. I asked for <laughs> oh, Proverbs oh, 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 14 Robert. and 12. She wanted Proverbs. Hey, the, the book get of this Proverbs. picture for her. You book it for her, boss. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is this? The book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 12. Read A scorner loveth not one that reprove it. No, no that, I said 14 and 12. Oh, that's not what I want. 14 and 12. Yes, she said, that's Proverbs. not what I want. Damn. She said, that's not what I want. Go ahead. She said, new reader. Let me get new reader. Hey, new hey, reader. Hey, new sister Corbin, you read Bro, she said you fired, bro. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 14, verse 20. <laughs> there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Okay. No, no, you would have died. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. So there, there are times when you think your own what I'm, I'm It goes with I, what I, we're no, talking no, about. No, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. So to tie it in, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. This ties into what we're talking about? Yes, because I, women think I, that... Go ahead, go ahead, go but, ahead. But Carmelo got the, it. But the end thereof are the ways of death? Yeah, so no. she's saying like the way that the women may come in with the mindsets that they have, they think that they know what's good for them. They're they think the that, right they, the that they're doing you know, it the right way. They think that coming in the house and decorating it the way I want to is right, right. to them. But those are some of the things that could <laughs> cause relationship problems for them with their husbands is... Yeah, and it's death to the relationship. But, but at the end of it, it says basically at the end of it, she said, "You're gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> die. He gonna break her. He gonna, he gonna so, so, she fold, right. so she'll fold the towels right. She gonna die. Yeah. Okay, okay. How she many said, many bed, she, You're gonna die. How Maybe many? it'll lead her to some kind of sin because of pride from this, uh, you know, uh, stubbornness. How uh, many relationships that the, the sister just do what the hell she want to do and don't don't conform to her lord at all that has worked. No. She's gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The relationship. What does the relationship does? <laughs> right. The right. relationship dies. Like the sister won't loves her dog. Oh, she's more. not gonna die. The relationship dies. The everything dies. Oh. And usually, oh. usually, usually she leaves the truth. Like uh, usually, I, I, yeah, okay. that, that relationship. Twice dead. Now I know why you're Twice Barnabas' dead. wife. Why? That was a Benji power. That was a Benji power. Everything dies. They they usually. Usually, when relations marriages don't work in Israel, somebody leaves. Somebody leaves, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're they're no longer keeping the commandments. So, what is the end of that? That's true. Death. Yeah. Hey, let's take the phone call. Shalom. Shalom. Call. Shalom, what's your sister. name? Question or comment? Yes, hi. I have a um a comment and an offer. My name is Sharawan. I'm calling from the DC school. From okay. What's your question or comment, okay. sis? No, she said she got an offer. Is, you got an offer? Yeah, I do. I, w- I want to I do a proposal to the bishop or you guys on a marriage document. Uh, on a marriage what? And a marriage what? Document. A document series that we would document. Okay. The marriage from the bishop down. Why? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, sis. What you're saying is, you want, so you want a docu series, meaning like like a reality TV oh, like a, of our show. It would, I mean, it would. I'm not gonna say reality. What? It would be us talking about marriage, and it would be questions. That, that was That's what we're doing now, sis. Process. Well, let, let her finish, love. Finish. Okay, we, right. don't have, we don't have any visual aids. We don't have any visual aids. That is it. Um, you know, Israel is a visual learning people, so we need oh, visual aids. Okay, but so, it would be a sis, fundraising sis. tape that would only be sold in inside of Israel. You would have what? to be a member of IUI. Okay, TV hold on, hold on one second, sis. Hold on, hold on. Okay, part of that I like. In the sense that mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say why I, I like a part of that. Mm-hmm. There are successful marriages mm-hmm. in Israel, right? Yeah. In the sense, like Jeraham is in. Let's say just use Officer Jeraham in for that case. It, as far back as I can remember, we've never had that part outspoken to everybody. Right. A lot, of, a lot of times. Hold on, sister. 
<laughs> a, lot, a lot of times we hear about the failed and the tragic marriages. marriages yeah. Right. Yeah. But we rarely ever hear from the successful, the successful marriages. Yeah, right, right, that's true. That's, yeah, yeah, that at yeah. some point, yeah, I, so I, up to a point I agree, that should be broadcasted at some point as well. In the sense that, like she mentioned, a visual aid. Right. That's something visual. But that does not mean Israel's still going to follow the blueprint. Right. But it is a visual aspect that they can mm. see a successful marriage. Um, because, yes, we have the bishops and the deacons and the captains, so on and so forth, that use their marriages are very open and public to everybody. But there's also officers, there's also soldiers right. with successful marriages that, you know, at some point... Right. So, talk, Kat, what you're, saying is, what you're saying is, Kat, is basically... We only highlight the not the, only, not only we don't well, we, only, we, but we mainly because of the the, the things that's the going correction. on in the body. Of the but aspect. there are a, plenty yes. in IUIC uh, yes. successful marriages. No, but I'm not we, just speaking on just. I said the bishop down. I okay, said bishop sir. Down. I would just make you said right. oh, you said the bishops down. So that means down office. meaning every office, every office, including. Include it could be some of the people that's that's low that's very low ranking that, that, they would, that they would set on the docu series and they would describe it. What sis? Out. They saying the same thing you saying? Okay, okay. Bro, what are you talking uh, th about? Thank man? you for your thank you for thank your, your courses because thank I, you. I've mentioned yeah. successful marriages with officers, officers and soldiers. And soldiers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. 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 Ah, that's DC, right? That's DC. That's DC. The city. Remember the city. Hey, shout out to DC oh. with the rabbis. Shout yeah, out to rabbis. DC. Yeah. 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 DC, I see DC. Yeah, the rabbis, My rabbis, rabbis yeah, right. and rabbis and stuff. Meet your mind. Meet your mind. Hey, hey, Rabbi Phineas, shalom. Then you supposed to get me a ticket two weeks ago. You still trying to? They shut Africa down, D. You can't go. Nah, I gotta go somewhere. Hey, we go. Hey, you ever seen them spy movies when you run into somebody's running to the airport and then the bad guys at the airport waiting for you? We gonna be at the gate, D. Where you going, D? All right, so let's let's get it. Let's get in. Let's get into. Uh, hey, I'm just I'm just sitting here. I'm like, wow. oh, what the hell she talking about? Then you just say the same thing she said. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh god. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth. 